first thing we're going to do is plug in the values from this table, the x values, into this equation. This equation is particularly simple, so when you plug in any x value, you just get out the corresponding y value. It's exactly the same as the x value. So if I plug in x equals negative 2, then y equals negative 2. So this table is very easy to fill in. The next thing I need to do is graph the equation in an xy plane. So I'll sketch an xy plane. And I need x values at negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. So I'll make my scale look like this. And then I'll try to scale the y's the same way as the x's. All right, now, um, if you recognize this equation as the equation of a straight line, then you know that sketching this is going to be really simple. But I'm just going to plot these points, first of all, um, just for practice. So I've got negative 2, negative 2, so I go negative 2 down to negative 2, puts me about there. Negative 1, negative 1, puts me about here. 0, 0 puts me here. 1, 1 is here, and then 2, 2 is about there. And you can tell this is graphing a straight line, so I'm just going to connect those dots with a straight line. And that's good. If you look at this and you see, oh, this is just a line because the highest power of x is 1. The slope, the number in front of x is 1. And the y-intercept is 0. You could graph it straight from there as well. All right, the next thing I need to do is give the shape of the graph. So for the shape of the graph, all I'm looking for here is just a line or a straight line. Two, the x-intercept is where your line crosses the x-axis. So that's when the y-value is zero. We can see here the y-value is zero when x is zero. So the x-intercept is the point zero comma zero. The y-intercept is where you hit the y-axis, so it's where x is equal to zero. That's also at the origin. And then the slope of the line is rise over run so if you go over one how far do you go up and that's one so we usually represent the slope as m and that's one in this problem again you can see that here because the coefficient of x is one 